doing a hand tunnel for a sewer line. The reason we're doing a hand tunnel is because of the large rocks that are in our way. Uh, we can't drill through them and keep on grade. We're going to uh, an aqueduct that's out there that's 78 inch. can't have any vibration under it, so this is the safest, most accurate way for us to go. One's up at the very face with a jackhammer. Jackhammering out the rocks and the soil. And we'll curl that behind him. The second guy that will shovel into the cart with wheels on it. Here is a cable system ran by air. We'll pull that cart out, we'll empty that cart, bring it back down, hook up the cables, and then it sits right back in. Um, we average, on a good day, we'll get 10, 12 feet a day. Uh, we get in these big rocks that are too large for the casing. We'll have to jack, clean them out, jackhammer them down to fit, and it'll take, some of them might take us two days to get out, depending on the size of the rock. Or Right now, going through all the rocks, we're going through, we're getting four to six feet a day. Um, still doing pretty good for the material we're putting in. The whole system is guided on a, on a pipe laser. We set it down, plumb bob it in. We have a target up in the front on hinges, so when we start to move, we drop that target. We know exactly where we're going. To steer it, we just dig out one side more than the other. Um, it's pretty much just labor-intensive work.